and tips to make your dream of owning a home in San Diego come true on an average income. You are watching San Diego's breaking news leader. This is CBS News 8 at 11. You have a decent job and you want to buy a house, but can you really afford a detached family home on an average income? We asked an expert if the American dream is still possible in San Diego County. Finding a home under $300,000 in the county can be quite a bit of a challenge. We're looking at detached homes under $300,000 because that's what a San Diego family with an average income of $73,000 per year can afford. Here's one in City Heights, 840 square feet, and it looks trashed. Asking price, $289,000. Here's another one in Skyline, a major fixer-upper with a cracked slab and leaky pool. $249,000. In the city of San Diego, the houses in our price range need major work. Well, you can absolutely get a deal if you buy a fixer-upper. It just depends on if you're a handyman and if you can do a lot of the work yourself. Local real estate agent Luis Ortiz says that right now it's a seller's market. A quick search on Zillow shows hundreds of homes under 300000 but many of those are auction starting prices. There's a trend right now in the, in the marketplace where a lot of sellers will try and sell their property in an auction to try and get a bidding war and to get a little bit better price. Those prices, those starting prices, is typically not where those homes sell. Ortiz advises first-time home buyers to decide on a neighborhood first. If the person is looking, you know, La Jolla or Del Mar, it's pretty much impossible. But if you're willing to go out to Escondido or Spring Valley or maybe even the outskirts of Chula Vista, it's more doable if you're willing to buy something that maybe is a little bit of a fixed Upper. We found several detached family homes for sale in Escondido and Chula Vista within our price range. Once the buyer decides on a neighborhood, Ortiz suggests canvassing the area. A lot of real estate agents will do phone calling for them or they'll door knock in an area. And there's a big advantage to that for the buyer. If you can find an owner who's willing to sell before the house is listed, both parties save money. The seller is not having to pay the real estate agent commission, so the seller can actually net a little bit more for the home. And oftentimes the buyer can also get a little bit better price as well. Duplex homes are another option. Here's one in Santee for $265,000. And the good news is mortgage interest rates are still low. We live in one of the most desirable places in the entire world. And so it is a little bit more expensive to live here, but I truly believe that it's worth it and that American dream is alive and well. Our expert says if you can afford to put 20% down, your monthly mortgage payments will be lower. If not, there are first-time homebuyer plans that finance with zero down.